This is Mark Galley. I'm with Think Reliability. We provide training and consulting. We teach people how to become better problem solvers, uh, learning root cause analysis. What I'm going to cover is a common error that organizations make when it comes to root cause analysis logic, and I'm going to use the example of the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, this example was built using our cause mapping template in Microsoft Excel. It's available on our website, and I'll show you you can get a copy of that. And then I have a summary PDF. Uh, that covers the material in this uh, video. The link for that and the blog is in the description beneath this video. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one Y. It says the camel's back is broken. That's an effect on the left and it's because of that that one straw. So that's how people use that statement is well the, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. What it starts with is an effect of the camel's back in this case is broken and the first question is well, why is the camel's back broken and cause and effect relationships build backwards so the answer to the question why is the camel's back broken is because of this one straw so the effect is on the left and the cause is on the right they're connected with a, a why question this would be a simple one why uh, cause map that last straw is what people identify as uh, the cause which is accurate it's just not uh, complete so the statement is true there's just more to it now you're transporting straw with a camel and you've lost the use of this camel so this obviously impacts your your goals that metaphor means it's not going the way we wanted it to um, you can add more detail and find out well the camel's back is broken because the total stress the total load on the camel uh, exceeded what the camel could carry so there's all this load because of that additional straw um, the stress on the camel's back exceeded the strength of the camel and that's because of the load or the weight stress from all the straw because we added that one additional straw so it looks like this small straw created this in, in this large or disproportionate output um, but there is uh, there's more to it the total stress on the camel's back is not because of just that one straw it's because of all of the other straw and that addition of one straw so people say that's the straw that broke the camel's back that means that this effect which is the total load on the camel is caused by that one straw which is true but that total stress is because of that one straw and all of the other straw it takes all of the straw including that last one to exceed that limit of the camel. So both of these causes are required to produce this effect. The point being that you could take a handful of straw off or even a few straw off and add that one additional straw and you would not exceed the limit. So when people say, well, that's the straw, it, it is the straw that exceeded that limit, but it's actually because of all the straw. The point is there are different ways to solve a problem. That's what companies want to understand and find out is are we missing something in terms of solution options. It also means that the stress on the camel's back exceeded the strength of the camel because that camel had this amount of strength. You could start with a bigger camel. So it's not so much that it's just the load of the straw, it's also what the camel can actually carry. But you can see how easy it is for people to pick a single cause and conclude that that is the root cause. So that one straw is the reason that this issue occurred. It's really not the cause, it's simply just one of the causes and what a root cause analysis reveals are all of the causes. The root is really the source of the issue. So this 6Y requires all of the causes. People inadvertently fixate on single causes and mistakenly conclude that they're right, that that was the one cause. They don't think of the incident as a, a system. This can even be broken out further in terms of what causes the camel's back to be the strong. Is this the size of the camel? Maybe the age of the camel? Maybe the camel had a pre-existing condition. This turns into a 9Y. But that simple uh, 6Y really shows how this incident initially uh, breaks out. And it's not so much that that's the root cause, it's that there's an analysis that explains this is what produced the issue. So that PDF that we have on our website, you can you can download and it has a summary of a 1Y, a 4Y, a 3Y, and then a 6Y and explains some of the miscommunications that occur within companies when they think they're conducting a root cause analysis. Um, if you'd like to learn more, more about our method, we have case studies on our website that you can review. Um, you, you can watch uh, webinars weekly. We cover a variety of different topics. If you'd like to learn our approach, you can attend one of our public workshops. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're posting more examples all the time. And I encourage an experiment with our, our cause mapping method. You need to find out what works in the field. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Let us know how we can help you and then test this on, on your problems.